Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us for North Dakota Today on this snow day for a lot of people, not us. Not, and actually not for Fargo schools, but a lot of, I live in the West Fargo School District. My kids are yeah. hopefully still sleeping. At home chilling. It's surprising Fargo didn't cancel because driving in, I live kind of in the deep south out by Davies, and it deep was south. horrendous. Yeah, you get into those open areas. You don't have to go too far south. But I think the story with uh, most of the students and school buses in the Fargo School District are within the city limits. Yeah. But like West Fargo, Moorhead, and then those rural school districts, they have to have buses out in rural areas, and it's no good. <laughs> no, no. no good out there. I know we just heard uh, 19th Avenue in North Fargo is a bad area. That just closed. Yeah. Fargo Police posted that. And uh, a lot of no travel advisories. We have a lot of uh, great updates for you if you're wondering about schools, roads, all that. Just go to valleynewslive.com. We want to take a look outside, too. Um, right now look at this <laughs> this is the dakota magic uh sky cam um not only can you tell that the flags are like really blowing like the, the camera itself yeah i think it's gonna be blown off the uh the top of the building or whatever well, it's, on down it's there. so windy at least where i'm at like it's not even really snowing yet but if you look that side it looks like it's snowing and i had a bunch of drifts in my driveway i had to get rid of those so if you have to go out today be super slow take your time Go down main thoroughfares because some of the off-beaten paths are not well, uh, quote-unquote, groomed at this point. And you can see there. I mean, My goodness, that looks horrible. Yeah, those flags look like they're just about to rip off. Even when, uh, you probably haven't been outside for a while, but walking no, into work today, it just felt, you know, the wind's howling. It's kind of dark. And you're just like, man, this just feels like I'm in Alaska and about to like. A yucky day. Yeah. Okay, so that's the Southern Valley. I think uh, Justin Fanfarelli is working with us today, and he's going to switch it over. And this is our uh, sky cam here in South Fargo. And as you do look uh, west, you can tell it's it's not so nice. Um, I was telling you before the show, just driving in from West Fargo, that's not that far. We're uh, off of University. There were snow drifts on the on the interstate mm. I ninety four, and I thought veterans in West Fargo. It's we have so much snow. You know, well we had that big snowfall, and then this week we had a couple of fresh inches. And I know meteorologist Lisa Green, we have Justin Fanfarelli in this morning, but Lisa Green was telling us yesterday, she forecast this and was the first to tell us it's going to be the wind in the morning, you know, so you're right. It hasn't even really, it's going to start snowing this afternoon. And the, the blizzard warning is like tonight and tomorrow, but right, right now it's just the wind is, is blowing around all that fresh snow and visibility is a huge issue. No travel as well. I, I believe in uh, Clay County, as well you yeah. know so in the rural areas is it is it just me over the past couple of years just feel like treacherous right it's just been the past tough two winters are, are we becoming soft i i don't know maybe but even this past week you go from 20 below to this to now a blizzard probably tomorrow and you're like can we just get a little bit of a break here i know this right the cold temperatures i feel like i don't mind some snow you right. know as long as it's like between zero and you know 30. <laughs> i prefer a nice 15 degrees all winter long uh, but yeah it's just been so brutally cold and then also we're getting the snow you usually get one or the other exactly and this one just feels like a, like a two shot yeah a couple <laughs> body blows and you're just waiting for that uppercut maybe tomorrow will be the uppercut and and the hard thing for me like this morning you know i wanted to get out and kind of just go work out but then you feel like you're just going to be stuck inside tonight, tomorrow, and that's what starts to drive me stir crazy. I know after the big snowfall the weekend after Christmas, and uh, I did get to work, but then, you know, my husband dropped me back off, and the roads weren't plowed yeah. for, like, and I, I do not like to be trapped. <laughs> I'm no. kind of a home, I mean, I'm a homebody, so I like to, you know, get in bed and watch movies, but the, just knowing that I couldn't exactly. go anywhere. Exactly. I don't like that. But it is a good day. If you don't have to go anywhere, just stay at home. Grab another cup of coffee. Join us. We have a great show uh, planned for you today. Uh, stay if warm. If our guests can make it, are they all going to make it? <laughs> you know, actually, one guest will not be here because he... And oh, he's for just real? In, just yep, he, no, because uh, uh, because of the snow. He got oh. his pickup stuck in a, a snowdrift. No. He's like in South Fargo. Yeah, so in Fargo. Uh, so we're still going to be talking about uh, Hometown Heroes Night. Uh, but half of the team made it. Uh, our firefighter who's going to talk to us about how, you know, Hometown Heroes Night, they raise of money to help. Of course the firefighter made it. You he know. probably like sprinted here, even if he was, you know, going to get stuck. He's like, I got to get there. I'm just going to run. I'm going to throw a, a Jason Cross under the bus. It was J Cross Insulation. Jason and uh, Keeley, they were on their way and I think they left early and they still got stuck in some big drifts. But that's uh. how it, that's why they close like 19th Avenue North and then yeah. I'm sure 52nd Avenue. You don't have to go very far south in Fargo City, like to the Berg House. Right. I mean. And you, you get some big drifts. There's, and that's the worst. Like you, you, you get up the morning. This is the way it is, and then getting stuck. You're like, 
Because today, you know, having to dig yourself out or, you know, hooking the tow rope underneath, it's so brutal with the wind out there. Ick. Hopefully okay. they're okay. Well, how about we sweeten things up a little bit here with uh, a better story. We won't talk about snow. Uh, something really big is happening in Waco, Texas. I thought the only thing that happened in Waco, Texas was the uh, Fixer Upper crew, uh, Chip and Joanna. Love those guys. Well, now it's also home to a brand new Guinness World Record. Christy Soto took a trip to the Mars Chocolate Factory in Waco where she got to see the largest Snickers bar in the world. Everything is bigger in Texas, and the Mars Wrigley Candy Factory proved just that, making the world's largest chocolate nut bar and the largest Snickers ever made. All they had to do was create a bar larger than 4 feet and 220 pounds. And Snickers connoisseur Rude Engerbs says they chose to go big or go home. So the 200 pound bar is not really a big Snickers bar, right? In Waco, we know what big is, so we chose to make an extremely large bar. Their bar weighs in at 4,782 pounds, is 12 feet long, 24 inches tall, and 26 inches wide. To put that in perspective, this chocolate bar weighs more than a car and is nearly as long as a truck. It's a new Guinness World Records title. It's incredibly impressive. Some of my favorite record categories are big food because it has to be edible and it is also an engineering feat. So to get a nearly 5,000 bar, pound bar of chocolate to stay together is really challenging. Their method, doing everything step by step, layer by layer, starting with more than 3,000 pounds of chocolate then layering caramel and peanuts to make the world's largest chocolate nut bar. We've got a great group of associates that are really handy and crafty with how to make candy every day. And, um, and they made it work, you know. And uh, so in a matter of a few days, we built this whole bar. Everyone wanted a bite of the bar. But this two-ton chocolate bar has bigger plans for the next couple of weeks. It will make a starring debut in the Snickers Super Bowl commercial on February 2nd. And as millions watch Snickers World Record Satisfying Bar, they'll remember it came from right here in Waco. And our motto is uh, Waco made Texas proud. Snickers, not only satisfying, but breaking records and making Central Texans proud. Reporting in Waco, Christy Soto, KWTX News 10. Helping hangry people all over the world. Yes, well said. I love that. Very I'm well said. I'm hungry now for some candy. That was incredible. Uh, like weighs as much as a vehicle, as long as a pickup. 4,700 pound candy bar. I love it. I would like to take part in helping eat that. But yeah, I guess me too. It, we'll do our part. Sign up for that one. Uh, okay, so the other day we talked about how Bush Light is, uh, you know, giving discounts uh, for snow totals. I was kind of shocked by this, and I know you uh, enjoy a, a nice glass of wine. Did you know wine consumption in the U.S.? You're not doing your part. It's actually dropped. Declining. Yeah. How come? I don't. I don't know. I don't. I guess I. I was wondering if maybe it's because of the. I always like to blame the millennials. <laughs> I no. I, I read a little bit on this. I asked that same question. I thought, well, maybe millennials aren't drinking wine, and they're the ones drinking mocktails. Um, be, you know, they don't even want any alcohol yeah. or the craft beer. Uh, but this is the sad news, I guess. Down a little bit, Chris. Interesting. We need to. I, I don't. I have a hard time believing that because here in Fargo, I'm sure we're fine. You know, the, the penny say. sale. Uh, people are stocking That's up. That's right. <laughs> so, when is the next penny sale? By the way, we, they just had one over Christmas, right? So. Oh. Uh, if you don't know, Happy Harry's will have a penny sale every now and then. You can go in. And you, is you, you get one bottle and then the next one of the it's same a, kind. You get for a penny, penny, right? Yeah. Right. That's a great gig. You see people walking around like these like giant carts. carts. Yeah, just stacked it's like to the it's kind of loud in there because it's you know all these uh, wine bottles uh, hitting each other. <laughs> anyway, I'll have to do more research. I don't know the reason why uh, it's down. Maybe you know craft. That's interesting forgot. though. I mean, you'd think you know more and more people becoming baby boomers. You, you you always sort of see older people with their you know glass of vino and I don't know. Interesting. Hey, don't forget to get yourself signed up to win those Valley News Live Monster Jam Triple Threat Series Experience giveaways. To get registered, just go to valleynewslive.com and click on the contest tab. That's coming up uh, January 31st through February 1st at the Fargo Dome. And we do have some winners today. So congratulations to Charlotte, Lori, Allen, and 
David, you picked up some tickets to Monster Jam. Cordell, you want to hear? You want to show off your voice? Cordell's got a pretty good one yesterday. He, he's. I missed it, it but I, yeah. It was, it was Maybe he could just like train you or tutor pretty, you a little bit. Pretty legit. You know who we need is Blind Joe. Oh he can yeah. He's like his horns up thing in the Monster Jam voice. I'm very excited about this weekend. It's hometown heroes night at the oh. Fargo Force game. If you We're going to be make talking. It. If we, I live very close to Shields Arena, I'll be there if I have to walk there. We're going to be talking about what hometown heroes night is really all about uh, next here on North Dakota Today. So don't go anywhere.